You can put a hundred grand on it Anything I said, I stamp on it In a private plane, I lamp on it Let the order to call me bank on it Cause I walk around with the bank on it Show them Gangnam style, put the gang on him Twist my fingers up on a bang on him Let the whole, let the whole, yeah Tobalo, go macho, yeah Tobalo, my go macho, yeah Nobody know tomorrow Choro, choro. And if a boy feel macho, make him look red like a tomato. If him not dead, then he call martos. No, go fumble. As the day comes, as I go, God don't watch over me, oh Lord. I cannot trust my.
that we would remain friends, but you know that I do not depend on nothing or no one. So why would you show up so uninvited? Then just change my mind like that. Please don't take this personal. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're seeing me for the first time, I am Anati and I hope you consider subscribing. If you're back and you're a regular degular, thank you so so much for coming back. Welcome to my Magwati vlog. As you guys saw in the morning, I woke up, I made breakfast and I served the grannies. After that, um, after that, I did the dishes, and then from there on, Javi and I went to run a couple of errands with Tuso. I don't really do much when I'm here. <laughs> like in terms of other things, what I mostly do is cooking. Um, today, anti cleaned, so it's literally just been cooking also busy cooking now and i didn't want the vlog to become repetitive so i'm not going to show you guys as i'm cooking dinner i also showed you guys a little bit of us um watching granny harvesting in the morning so yeah hopefully you're enjoying it so far and if you haven't liked the video yet please like down below and comment what your part of what your favorite part of the vlog has been up until this point suga up suga up guys Bambi chocolate. Hey, can't you pet and a good guy? Hello, I'm not tired. I'm not tired. I'm not
welcome to another day of the vlog. Today is Sunday, the Ntun Ntun. Oh, I write it down here. And this morning I didn't vlog much of what I did because it was pretty repetitive to what I did yesterday morning. I woke up, made breakfast, um, tidied up, swept, and bathed the kids and then i bathed so i didn't vlog much of that so now it's around 12 ish i'm just waiting for hubby to finish having his breakfast so that we can go buy a couple of things that i'm gonna need to make lunch and dinner i'm just gonna cook a lot now that's like i'm gonna cook food that's enough for dinner as well because we might be going to a wedding so i'm trying to avoid um coming back and cooking when i come back later so i'm gonna make enough for lunch and supper so yeah i'll see you guys when we go to the shops to go buy the things that i'm gonna need saw you guys yesterday when we were buying a couple of items for me to cook dinner so what happened after that is i prepared dinner i couldn't vlog much of that because as i said before i didn't want the vlog to become repetitive i did want to show you guys the final product of what i had cooked though but we were running late for the wedding and i ran out of time i couldn't show you guys what i had prepared so i had made rice uh, pork stew 
chakalaka and roasted potatoes for dinner. I cooked enough so that they have um, food left over to eat for supper as well because I knew chances of coming back were slim. Um, okay, so we were running late for the wedding. I wanted to show you guys the final product of what I had cooked but it completely slipped my mind because I was pressed for time. As you guys saw, we went to the wedding it was so much fun after the wedding we went to a second location and we only got back this morning around half past three it was literally my first time being apart from my baby for that long yo like it was hectic but it had to be done i also had to teach myself that i need to like loosen the strings a little bit yeah, oh, and i'm getting the hang of it now oh it was hectic um so we got back around two three and we slept um we woke up around um 11 and we quickly had to prepare and rush back to pretoria because my sister and my nephew were landing from durban at one and they wanted to see the baby before they go to Mbomalanga um so yeah that's what had happened this morning so i couldn't vlog much because also in the morning we were rushing preparing and heading back before i go though i wanted to give you guys a couple of tips that i feel would be helpful if you are magoti or if you are about to become a magoti like tips that i feel like would be helpful when you go into the new family or like that will make your life easier first and foremost i think the key thing is to be yourself like if you know you're not like crazy about cleaning and cooking and doing all those kind of chores i'm not saying get there and laze around and don't do anything try by all means do try to to do your part and to assist and to be helpful but don't go above and beyond and set a standard that you won't be able to maintain because if you set like a standard so well when you wake up at 2 a.m or 3 a.m and you make tea for the whole village and you do one two three four five that's the standard that you're gonna have to maintain so what i mean by be yourself set a standard that you're going to be able to maintain and follow through on yeah um with that also comes with being yourself in terms of personality yes i understand it's hectic you getting into a new family our bars are and you're just getting used to them if that's the setup like but be yourself in terms of personality as well because at the end of the day that's your new home and you want to be comfortable when you're there um so I think you should just be yourself right off the bat in terms of personality as well so that they know you for, for who you are right off the bat. Ungazi with pretentious Ungazi with pretentious behavior that you won't also be able to maintain. Yeah. Um what else? Also, make your life easier. Like, if there's kids that can assist you with certain things, like, ask them to assist. If you're tired, ask them. As mang mang, please wash the dishes today. If um, you feel like the pots are getting too hectic, ask them. As mang mang, can you please chop this for me, peel this for me? Ask. Like, the people are more than willing to assist. Like, I feel like we treat it so much as if it's some form of slavery and begazeli and i have to show them but in actual fact you're getting into a new family be it you the last born now or the second born or whatever it is but like this is your new family so they're more than willing to assist you um also make your life very easy if you know um you cook things a certain way yeah bro and you need certain ingredients to cook something when you're going there make sure you come with those ingredients on top of whatever grocery that you're gonna buy if you can that is come with like whatever ingredients you feel comfortable cooking as part of that grocery if you know that when when you cook stew you add some secret spice that makes the stew slap do buy that spice when you buy groceries and you had it there 
so that it can make your life easier because at the end of the day you like um, you want to impress we can't lie to ourselves and say yeah we don't care you want to impress at the end of the day so that would be part of the package of you impressing what else also, like, be mindful of the fact that as much as there's different personalities going, like, there's those loud ones, there's those quiet ones, there's those ones that speak without thinking. So be mindful of the fact that um, you getting into a fairly new environment and these people are not going to be the same kind of people that you grew up with things they are not going to be done the same way that they are done um so be mindful of that going into it and more than anything man just don't have expectations don't have expectations for people to like you or dislike you when i come as you are if they like you they like you that's great Hopefully they'll like you. I don't want to say if they don't like you then. <laughs> Hopefully they'll like you. Like, but there's always gonna be like those few people who want. Um, the best advice that I've ever gotten from someone was that more than anything, focus on the person who brought you here. So like if you have this family member that hates you for no apparent reason, remember that when you are here because of your man you're here because you love your man and that will help carry you through also try to make um your husband's home comfortable for you if there's certain appliances that you feel like you guys need to invest in that will make your stay there better or that will make the chores better for you do invest in those if you can and the biggest thing for me also, I think what makes what is nice and I don't want to say tolerable, what makes it nice is the fact like it's coming and going. If you're in a position like where you are thinking of getting married or you're about to get married and you don't have your own space yet, please consider getting your own space like consider getting your own space personally i don't think it would be the best setup to get married and live there full time come visit like once a month twice a month a month or wherever you can if the situation allows if the situation allows for you to live outside of your husband's home then by all means now my advice would be take that but if the situation doesn't allow like let's say um your mother-in-law lives there alone and she's a bit old so you guys need to stay with her then by all means do that but if it's a family house and there's like quite a number of people staying there for your sake please do consider getting a space that is just your space so that you know you don't always have to be in cotizing mode 24-7, 365. You can cotiza, go back to your space and relax. <laughs> I think that's all for me. Thank you so, so much for watching this video up until this part. I will try harder next time to vlog more. Um yeah i hope you enjoyed please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below if you have not already subscribed